you have truly healed from your own trauma, why are you here, right? And I and I feel like because I, I feel like the reason why you are here is to call. I explained that. Uh, I th from my opinion, I feel like the reason why you're here is to cause discord because you haven't healed from it and you're still hurt. No, so well, that's a shaming people. and silencing tactic. You it's don't want not, me to talk not, about divestment. It's, it's not. It's not shaming at all. I mean, I'm I'm looking at your physical appearance, and it's clear to me that there's still some trauma there, right? But I don't necessarily have to go there because that kind of like is what it is. But like, um, you're I just you're came from yoga, and I have on a tank top and yoga pants. I just I saw her on live. She's I not ate talking a little bit. about that. That's that's what not what he's talking, talking about? about. He's not talking about your clothes. Yeah, I, I, we I, we we don't we don't like. I mean, we can all exist in a land of delusion. I think that's perfectly fine. Um, the point that I'm trying to make is that <laughs> folks who are truly healed and people who are really doing well aren't on the internet, right? You should be with your white fiance right now and enjoying the night, watching a movie, not online, uh, you know. That's your way of to trying to get me to shut my mouth and go about my business and not bring up black men at all. That's your shaming tactic. But you won't do the same thing to the other <laughs> divested black men that keep bringing up black women that keep bringing up the divestment movement. You won't do that to your fellow black brother who's constantly dogging out the black women. Because they're not fighting. talking about killing y'all. Because they ain't oh, talking they about deleting y'all. Because they are killing us. <laughs> we just said, we, let's the, figure out, you guys black, are calling about black single moms. Kill, black, people kill, black people kill black people. What you gonna do when you have a son? Huh? Uh, I hope I have a daughter. But What you gonna do then? What you gonna do when you have a son? What you gonna do? Because guess what? He's gonna look to like the dude in the box question. right here. Crystal and Garrison was married. What are you going to do? You gonna take him in the back end? You gonna take him no. in the back and double tap him? What you gonna no. do? Yellow. No. no. Uh, there's, we can choose our genders now, but I mean that's that's another discussion. Okay. I don't because I don't care who you date. My only really issue, issue with the diversity. Hold on, yeah, and I know you. Right, because that's I, the I, whole I, purpose I of y'all movement. It's the elimination of black men. That's it. We're tired of you guys talking about single mom this, single mom that. The solution is to not have sex with you. Mm, and not be honest, go on, show you. your true colors. That's the solution. Go, you don't, don't, don't show your true colors. Go no. let them know that it's not about dating and finding love. It's about eliminating us off this planet. It's not because we're go not going to eliminate you. Show your true Yella, colors. Yella, There's I'm enough of you. Go ahead and show we your have true colors. Back go ahead and show move. your true colors. I'm going to have to mute both of you guys. Okay, so There's enough on. of us, right? Me, right. So Too many. Let me, let me be. Let me uh, be. Blue Ray, please. Okay. Hey, Ray. So, yo, let me. Because I listen to the divestment community again, that's why it's important to understand every single side because I listen to them and I listen to Cynthia G. I had this on my platform last week. The idea mm -hmm. of the elimination. They're they're saying that because they are saying that the Pookie and Ray Rays come from single parent mothers, black women. Mm -hmm. And that's the idea is that these divestors are saying, well, since you're blaming single mothers, single black women for everything yeah. that's messed up in the black community, you're blaming us for the Pookie and Ray Rays. You're blaming us for the black men um, that are locked up because they say 70 percent of black men that are locked up has come from a single parent black uh, mother. Mm -hmm. Because everything that seems to be wrong is coming from a black woman that is single. The only thing to do is to not make a Pookie and Ray Ray, is to get rid of them at birth. That's what they're saying. So it's their way of trying to- Eliminate the imagine. problem, it's a solution. Well, I, I think it's slick trolling and slick shop, TV, you know, YouTube shit. But that's mm -hmm. where it's coming from. It's coming from when these women are listening to black men over here saying that that is the problem with the black community. It's the single motherhood. And when they hear that black men don't want to be stepdaddies, it, it's a raw deal. This is where these really? ideas are coming up. Is it weird? Yes. But this is where they're getting it from. So what do black men expect black women to do? 
Like that's they want us just to pick, stop. Just pick better black men. That's all. Just no, pick. it's hard though. You know no, that. No, it is. You, you can tell me. You can tell me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because one thing, one thing, I'm not. One thing, no, I'm right. keep the fathers around. Keep the father around. Stop what? pushing the stop, stop pushing the fathers out the picture. Yeah, that would be the first solution. Two, by black I don't, I'm, I'm no with you on this, here. Courtney. I'm, I'm Courtney. I'm with you All on right. this because I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't bounce ideas off of off soft objects like for real. I can't. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you, Courtney, because you made a good point, and I'm a hundred percent with you. Like the fact that black women do gotta hear a lot about. Oh, yeah, y'all responsible for the single mother rate and all that. You know what I mean? Regardless of how the statistics lay out, right? It can be a bit jarring for black women to have to hear this every day. And trust me, I am one of I am one of the people who will try to hold everybody accountable. But at the same time, you not finna point out one single solitary platform that exists on this app right now, calling for the termination, calling for it. I can't stop black men from hurting black women. Same way I can't stop black women from hurting black men. But tell me a platform on this app calling for the termination of black women. And I will shut up. I'll stop everything I'm doing right now. Ain't no point of us keep going on if you're telling me that's what we're talking about. But we no, not. she didn't say and to I don't care if it's trolling like or not because, you know what because I, 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 I don't, I don't care if they trolling or not. I don't care if they trolling or not because, Court, you know more than anything being on this platform. I'm a content creator. Come holler mm -hmm. at me on Twitch. I'm a content creator. And the one thing you can't stop, which is the reason why we're dealing with the idiots from Fresh and Fit, is because these people don't separate trolls from how they're supposed to go out there and live their real life. That's why this right. goofball who ain't got no attachment to nothing is sitting here trying to recruit like the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> that shit's cornball. Okay. That shit's cornball as hell. But she said, Trump not, not going to come choose you. Trump not going to come choose you. Trump not going to come choose you. Trump not going to choose you. Not going to replace Melania. You don't have to. You're not going to replace him. Trump not coming to choose y'all. They're not coming to save y'all. They're not coming to save y'all. Be smarter. Be he smarter, like for real. Said, you want us? I can tell. My thing is this: I can tell choice. black men to be smarter and pick better on black women. But I'm not finna tell black men to go out here and intentionally harm no black women. Right. If you guys could choose Never. to burn black women, you would say the same thing. You're, you're, you're. What are you talking about? What are you talking well, about? We're coming up what with the solution. About? We decided not what to get talking about. You're coming up with dumb shit. You're talking about. Hold on. You're talking about killing all right. the men that you need. Yeah. That's gonna okay. reproduce you okay. because my thing is this. Why don't you just say you don't want to be a black woman no more? Stop disrespecting Courtney. Stop right. disrespecting the other woman on the platform. Y'all trying to act like you right. wanted them. Okay. For real. All right. But let's let's calm it down a little bit. We on a limb. Let's bring it down to about the folk. He right. Right. He's, he's right. right. He's right. He's right. Though. He's right. Why expect us to keep giving birth to you? You don't like us. Why do we have to okay. sit there for nine what? months stretching on our bellies? No, we don't we like bad. Yeah, we, we, nobody said they don't like black. Okay. We don't like bad let's, behavior. Let's put some more people in the conversation. We got Ray's talk that talk. He's been waiting. For we don't time. like you. We don't okay. like you. Yeah. Okay. Good. We don't like you. <laughs> I'm talking to another black woman. That's why I'm here. If okay. she wasn't here, I wouldn't be here. She's a black woman. I support black women. Right. No matter if they're, you know, have opposing <laughs> views or whatever. Y'all are not the same. Y'all gotta, gotta chill. Y'all okay, are please. not the same. You wanna know right. why y'all don't y'all wanna know? Yeah, you wanna well. know why? And I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Hold on. You want to know why you don't support them? Because if you go on their platform, you'll hear them talk bad about black women. They call black women who love black women, uh, black men, mammies. Y'all sit there and dog other black women. If you was as pro black women as real black women, you would support oh, black God. women no matter what. Because that's what the sister code is about. I watch black women support other black women doing the most dumbest shit. And guess what? They not picking and choosing the black women they support. You know what? So Those are black male identified black. women who are telling black women to go back to their abuser, black, to go back and, and continue right. to take uh -huh. what black, black men dish right. out. That's not healthy. Yeah. Ray, please, what do you have to say? Thank you for popping up on the platform. Hey, how you doing, Court? Doing well. How are you? I'm good. All right. All right. I'm not trying to uh, add to the 
the vitriol that's already uh, going on right now. I'm going to just give a quick stat, and then I'm going to just go from there, too. She had mentioned that um, that black men are, I guess, the killers are black women. That's not actually true. And uh, white women experience a little bit more violence than black men. Um, the number is for female black women is uh, 1,400. For white women, it's about 1,900 every year since 2020. The numbers are disproportionate, though. Uh, madam, madam. I'm just I'm just shooting out the facts. You We're said such that. a small group. Anyway, go yeah, ahead. But like Courtney said, every culture or every uh, type of people, is uh, their violence is narrowed down to their proximity. So, of course, you know, when you're black, most of the violence is going to come from black people. When you're white, most of the violence is going to come from white people. But we're only 6% of the population. That's well, fine. black men are the 6% 6 of the population. That's we're fine. 7%. That's so fine. why is, it's the numbers are disproportionate. That doesn't, there's a difference that that doesn't make any sense when you bring up that and white people, when they're a hundred million white people in the, in, in the United States versus what? 3 million black people. What I said yeah. We commit most of the crime against each other and, and against other races. Everybody. And really it's not us. It's really just black men that's doing this. Black men. I mean, black yeah. Black people commit the most crime against each other. White people commit the most crime against each other. Mexicans. Yeah, but it's it's disproportionate when you look at how small of a group we are no as far as population is. compared to white people. There's there's a, there's a th that's not right. There's something wrong there. Don't you see that? No, it doesn't matter if it's small or big. The fact of the matter is that most crimes are committed amongst the people of their own kind. That's the facts. But that's not what I was about to come on here for. What I'm about to say is we as black men and black women, we can point out many things with each other. We can. But to what end? What is the end point? What's the end goal? Because Ask your brothers. Hold on. Hold on. We're just responding. Keep cutting me off. If you just listen for just a second. Do you? Thank you. So to what end? Because it's really not going to get us anywhere. When we're doing this stuff like this here online, the joke is on us. Everybody's watching us, and we can't even get along with each other. We try if we're trying to find real solutions with each other. It's more about it's less about this and more about the action. So we need to have we need to put something in action where we are getting along instead of fighting all the time. Yeah, we can point out things on both sides. Black men do some bad things. Black women do some bad things. So what? So how are we gonna fix it? Because if we ain't going to fix it, right. where do we get? Right where now, we need to just, there's a separation that needs to happen for at least the ones who want to separate. Um, and like I said, the numbers are growing. Like the manosphere is growing. And so is the divestment community. We're right behind you guys. So we're, we're just separating. I have a question I mean, for, for conservative It's toxic. Yeah, on one second. Yeah. I wasn't done yet. One second. Just let me finish. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's cool. I mean... I mean, that, if that's how you feel, people that ain't here in good faith, then maybe they, they shouldn't be a part of it. But the ones that really want to see the black community start to thrive a little bit, then we got to really sit down and have those talks. But forget the talks. We need to put it in action because nothing's been happening. All I see is a lot of arguing back and forth everywhere in the manosphere. Well, black women are trying. Look, they call Kevin Samuel's show. Like that means black women want to know the answers. They're they're dying. They're craving the for you really the black, the answer answer from the black guy. I I tell him don't do it. Why would you call that man show? He's now you talk about rejection. He's coming from a place of rejection and That's anger good. and vitriol and bitterness because somebody's made him feel really low. Somebody's hurt him. I know you guys don't like to hear that, but yeah, someone's hurt Kevin Samuels, Kitten Hills. So. Or like care, somebody's care, hurt care, you the way yeah. you the way you're acting out like somebody's hurt you right obviously it, it is hurtful it, it can be hurtful but i'm but past again, that point. i always say hurtfulness is not unique who cares all of us been hurt up here that don't make you special right. but there's certain voices it doesn't that are make you, special, others. But it doesn't you make know you the manosphere special. has a huge following you're trying to be 
intellectually I know dishonest. It does, but but I'm saying the whole point of the manosphere is for men. And you know, when you go out in public, you can feel the anger between black men and black women. You're man, trying to pretend it doesn't what do you exist. Mean? No, it's not. What are you talking about? I don't feel no <laughs> anger among black Look, women and men. Perfect. It's just two. It's just two groups of people having a dialogue, which we should have been having a long time ago. Yeah. Y'all only got exposed to this. Black men only been talking like this for two years openly and publicly. Exactly. Now you're talking about leaving the community. Catherine, do you the feel the anger yes. out in public? Do, don't you're you talking feel, about leaving do black the community. men smile at you? Do they hold the door open for you? You talking do about they, don't you the feel the tension in the air? Why do you like, think am I going crazy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I oh, want well, next. I, I want I'm a, while he's waiting to say something, but let me speak about the tension because I don't. Uh -uh. And I've said this Neither. before. The tension is just here. In real life, people are dating and loving. And I money. thought that too. In real life, in real I thought life. that too. But when you go out into the world, when you can feel the tension. Where are you? Hold on. When you walk around with your hood on, that's what happens. Black. No. That's hold that's on. I don't walk around with my hood on. Wait, what? Hold on. When I go out into the world, black men open doors for me. When Same I go here. out in the world and I walk, black men speak to me. When I go out in the world, I speak back. Mm -hmm. I smile. Well, you I still you're hi. still into black men. I think that's maybe they can sense well, that I'm a digester. I don't know because I feel the tension. I was I was at the gym. Could be the white point of view. I don't know. I'm in Texas. I don't know. I I'm in Texas. Maybe it's different down here, but. Plus, yeah, you there's a lot of tension. Black men and black women are not getting along down here. Plus, you create the tension. Whatever you give out is what you're going to receive out in the universe. Right. Everybody I know used that. to smile at black men. I don't even smile. I don't I'm even look at you guys anymore. I'm I'm scared. Scared. So that's, why you, so that's why you may. I'm going to have to put everybody on mute. Um, while I go ahead and speak, and then Rod, I want you to speak. Thank you for coming up. Yeah, no, I just had a, uh, I had a question for a conservative black woman because she mm -hmm. she said that she's here to recruit, right? So I I don't think that arguing with black he men is an effective that. recruitment. <laughs> I, I have a question for you. It's serious because you said that's your purpose for being here. So if your objective is not to, no. be able to argue with black men, can I speak if you don't mind? Go if ahead. your objective is not to argue with black men, you have two black women on the panel. Give them your pitch based upon your own experience and being in a long-term relationship with white men. Tell them what they have to look forward to, based on your experience of it, with them divesting. Run, pitch them. Don't argue with us. Well, as a fitness person, I always tell black. I, I'm not pitching them. They, they. I mean, I'm not here to recruit. Well, I'm just saying, you, like, you I encourage black recruit. women to work out to 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 maximize their options. I know that being in the gym is very important to a lot of white men, to a lot of Asian men, because I see a lot of Asian men in the gym now. Um, they're on steroids, of course, but I'm trying to encourage black women to, I guess, level up. I don't know, um, to maximize their, you're their avoiding, options. You're, you're avoiding my question because Kevin Samuels is telling black women the same thing. He's telling them to get therapy and exercise to improve their options. I'm asking right. you specifically because you said you're a divestor That's and not you're all, all about saying, black women's though. empowerment. Mm -hmm. So using your, using your experience, give your mm -hmm. pitch. Don't argue with the black men. Say to the black women, right. what is it they have to look forward to based upon your experience with white men that they currently aren't getting from black from black men? The floor is yours. Oh, they're going to learn about uh, the stock market, uh, the hedge fund. They're going to learn different things uh, in the world. Uh, they're going <laughs> to white men, at least the ones that I know, they know about all those things. I've learned so much about cryptocurrency. I know that you guys are just now learning about that, but I knew about this years ago you know just dealing with white the two people. biggest the, the but two white men you, you get to learn things you get to expand your the, your thought process i, I said things I mean, you're kind of stuck in black skin when you i'm sorry I'm, I'm asking for things that they aren't currently getting from black men the two biggest crypto enthusiasts and stock platforms one is earn your leisure it's a black uh, platform and 19 keys is perhaps one of the biggest voices when it comes to uh, crypto. He's also a black man. So I'm asking you for things that they are not currently getting from black men. I'm asking you to pitch them, to tell them what they're going to get that they aren't currently getting. That's what I'm asking for. 
I mean, all relationships have their ups and downs, but on, on average, you'll have a peace of mind. Uh, you'll know that when, if he dies, he's going to leave something to you. He's going to have a will pre-written, um, you know, with your name on it. Um, investments. What? Great sex? Once I don't know. Head, what do, what do you say? Okay, so, so, so ba ba basically what I'm gathering from your response. They wash the their hair every day. Get, That's good, right? What, 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 I'm, what I'm gathering from your response is that the only thing that they are going to get is white skin. You said at the very beginning. That's that not what prefer, I said, though. Because I'm asking you to give an answer. What's going to be different? You said you're here to recruit. Give your pitch. And everything that just... you've named so far <laughs> are things that they're currently getting from Black men. So what's the pitch? What's the sell? They're going what to learn it? more about the sophistication of life. They're going to learn, like I said, stocks and bonds, stuff like that. So things that you just don't learn in Blackistan. Because he kind of gets stuck so in a certain mindset. Because I dated an educated lame. He didn't know much about stocks second. and bonds. Are what you pretending that black women are unsophisticated and they need white men to sophisticate them? Is that what you're No, saying? because we're in school, but we get dogged out about that, right? When we get our education, we're but told that we need to drop out of school. That so was one of the benefits. Husband. So you what I'm saying is that we that need someone more, more about the sophistication of compatible, that's if that perk. makes sense. Okay. We need someone okay. more compatible. Right. Black women need a more compatible man. A lot of black women meet their husbands in, in college and it, at their university. Um, a lot of black men are not in college. I'm not trying to education shame or anything like that. I'm just saying I, it, that's the, those are okay. the things so, that they're going to. All right. This is just one me... last question. And it's not, it's okay. not, it's not the, question isn't for her. The, question, the, the question is for the two women on the panel. Based upon the pitch, are you guys sold um, based upon what you heard? Are you looking to? Um, I'm that, to be sold. Jump, jump ship. Yeah, no, and what I'm getting from her is not she's trying to sell us on white men. What I she's saying know. is that she used to be race loyal and she's not understanding what black women still are. What she's saying is get fit and white men will want you and maybe that's a better option because she's hearing on this end that black men don't want white, uh, black men don't want black women. And unfortunately, when we look at fresh and fit. A lot of them think fit, like that, yeah. So yeah. that's, but again, this is what I'm saying. And this is why I said it was important for us to listen to Cynthia G. Mm -hmm. It's like some of the rhetoric that we spill over here is what's giving them ammunition. Quit talking about Pookie and Ray Ray's and start talking about the good men. They don't have nothing to try to abort. It's a cycle that we keep, we wanting a resolution. Let's start talking about good ass black men, good ass black women. Mm -hmm. So fresh and fit can't say they black women are annoying and mm -hmm. uh, ghetto and trifling. When we're over here saying, no, we're not. Mm -hmm. We can't. It's constantly defending. We have to like <laughs> constantly <laughs> defend ourselves and, and make our, ourselves okay. the outlier. Hold on, I'm gonna get Rod King, but again, it's they, <laughs> They're, this is where they're getting this vitriol. This is where they're getting all this fire and making them. Cynthia G is getting bigger. These women, like conservative black women, are just kick, kick in. And we all looking like the hell. But she's. Look, some of it is trolling. I'm going to probably agree. But damn, it's women that think like this. And they're blaming it on people like us over here. And looking at me, I get called Mammy. I'll, I, you Kevin Samuels, mammy, you should doing it all for chaos all the time. And I, I like I told her, she came, so. my com her, she came to my comments and was talking about this divestment shit. And I said, well, just come talk about it. Come, I invited her. And I'm quite surprised she came over. Yeah. But it's conversation yeah. that needs to be had. And again, these are not going to stop. These people are not going to, we can't kill a, a fresh and fit. We can't kill off these platforms. If we're not giving better rhetoric on what we really are. And, and she's not, willing to talk. That's the thing. Like the, if you try right, to go on a right. panel of the manosphere, they cut you off. They do that. You know, I see how they treat the women that try to go in there to, to reason, to talk. You know what I mean? But they don't want to talk. So it's good that she opens up a platform. 
platform to, to people who think different. Um, she may not necessarily agree with, but you know, like I said, I'm just pro black woman. I want black women to be happy. And I just see that black women are just happier with non-black men. I, I see it. And it I just, but, but, here's, but we're not, we're not. A lot of them are. Black women are the, I, I, I am for black love. Black women are not the happiest. Black women are sad and not loving themselves and will go over to a white man to but get But they're natural. They're somebody. rocking their natural hair. They're losing weight. They're they're resting in their femininity. They're doing yoga. They're black we men. They're always talking about black women are so masculine. It will, they can't be anything else. They have to work and pay bills and, and do all that. You said that. you don't care, you you don't like, care <laughs> earlier because black men are asking all these things too. We like I'm natural very, hair. I've been very patient, but I want to say something real quick because I need to get off quick. Um, just to address what um, I think his name is Omo Wiley. I mm -hmm. forget what her asked. Um, something that I'm noticing is that we're talking a lot about, like we're getting confused between the internet experience and the real life experience. Because yeah. before when you asked me, conservative black woman, you asked, are you seeing, are you not feeling that tension? Are black men smiling at you? Are black men opening the door? And my answer was, yes, they are. Because in real life, we create our own experiences and our own scenarios based on the mm -hmm. way we present ourselves. So unfortunately, if you spend a lot of time online and you get all these different rhetorics and gender wars and manosphere, women's first integrity, all of this to get into your head and take a toll of you, you're going to go in real life and you're going to be approaching life with it. Even sometimes subconsciously, you won't be aware of it and you're going to be in a defensive mode. So I believe mm -hmm. that you want to focus on your real experience, not what anyone is saying on any platform, you know?